Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today in the world for a free-for-all. We're going to try and plant our flag down early in Africa and see what that yields for us. At least starting over here now the problem with necessarily africa is you really need to push into asia sooner rather than later because by the time that the new world finishes up and the strongest emerges if you're left in the middle between a strong person over here a strong person in the new world and you're in africa you're kind of dead so <laughs> our our immediate purpose is going to be just taking out the rest of africa as soon as possible pushing potentially into europe but definitely asia we want to get down to Asia as soon as possible. Now that can obviously be amended should there be an incredibly weak uh, new world order, if you will. But for right now, we do have probably the best spot in Africa. We will go ahead and take a look at what we are dealing with. There are a lot of players in the middle. That's good for us. That means there's going to be a lot of quarrelsome fights. Where, so we can just go ahead and comfortably grow and worry about them down the road. So we do have our infinite growth and that is probably going to be it. So I'm not going to reinforce that, but we will grab some weak bots along the way and look for some good weakness. Now, I am going to be very cautious about my troops. I do actually want to cut off this guy though. Let's go ahead and get this and then this just to make sure that he cannot push in. That's a great bot to get. So is this. So is this. All really good bots maintaining high levels of troops. Let's go ahead and decrease that send a little bit more and start pushing into more people. Now, we do have slightly less troops than Kane, but I'm not worried about that because I feel like we have a lot more land than him. In fact, he's not even in the leaderboard, so we can just push through this, casually take all of our land now, and we will start to earn mass dividends on those uh, troops and pixels. So let's go ahead and finish this off. And now we can sit pretty. We do want to go ahead and give a truce with this guy and see what kind of develops from here. But for right now, we are going to be saving up and we'll come back when we have all of our troops. Okay, we're back. Vagabond has decided to lose all of his troops somewhere along the way. We were see sending some sneaky boats into the New World, kind of waiting to see what would develop over there. So we get just a tiny bit more land. Actually, I'm down to definitely attack this guy. Let's go ahead and grab all of his land as well. And that will set up us nicely to then attack uh, Mars. So the guy full sense, so we do get most of the land here. And we can go ahead and start pushing into this guy as well. We'll definitely truce with you as we slowly work through the rest of this now i'm not i'm very much less interested in the new world at this point but we'll keep an eye out on it we just have happen to have some great opportunities over here so let's see if we can start taking out mars as well before he has a real opportunity to build up all of his troops so this would be a really good opportunity for kane and player 742 to attack us which is very likely but we'll just go ahead and eat the rest of this guy and kind of sit on these troops i don't really want to venture out much more than this other than who is this player and where did okay he's got a million troops i was about to say i don't want to attack him but i don't want him to have all of this land to ourselves so we are looking very pretty the new world is starting to consolidate a little bit so we do kind of need to speed up but i just got to have the troops to do it so after this what we will probably do is i'm not going to worry about this uh player down here these guys are definitely going to take him out our focus needs to be here uh i feel like this guy's the most likely to betray us and honestly, there's a great opportunity to grab some more land right here. So let's just go ahead and do that. It's not going to be a lot, but it will be something. So let's go ahead and try and capture as much as possible. We are getting actually help from Kane in this adventure. So let's keep pushing through this and just reload that as we are facing some opposition for the rest of this uh, part of Europe. So as we go there, we'll just go ahead and grab the United Kingdom. And I don't know who's trying to boat in here, but you are definitely not going to get it. Let's go ahead and I think it's this guy over here. Interesting. Yep, that is him. Let's go ahead and fight that off. There we go. And see if he's interested in a truce. Oh, that's just good news. Let's grab this and then start working down this guy. Kingdom of Cain, you are about to die. Let's go ahead and start knocking you down. And now we need to be cautious with our troops as we do have the crown, but not the most amount of troops. And this guy over here does have a boating opportunity into us. So we do get some... <laughs> Desperate truces, please be my friend, sir, uh, from these guys over here, which is good news for us because I do want to push through uh, Imperial Japan and then into this Russian player and then probably into this guy. So we'll see if we can make that work. He does full send. That's great news for us. And let's go ahead and send a boat. And there we go. He's still going. Let's go. On, let's just go ahead and finish off this guy. Send a boat in here as well. And there we go. So looking pretty good after all. Now, the question becomes, do I want a truce? I definitely will truce with this guy. I don't know who is. Yeah, he wants a truce. I'm definitely not attacking. I'm not going in over here. 
Let's see, what could we do? Should we... We could risk it and go into the new world right now. That might be the play. Uh, that guy did take away our boat. Where's my... Oh, it's a jerk. Okay. Let's go ahead and send another boat in. This time we're going to be a lot more proactive in taking these guys down. I don't really want to push into... Through this guy or this guy, because then I feel like I'm going to get bullied. So, for the meantime, let's go ahead and truce with this guy down here. Truce with you. And we'll start pushing into, into the new world and start making our way up north. I feel like that's the stronger play, considering when you think Madrid has the same amount of troops as this guy who's the strongest player in the new world. So let's see if this boat is gonna work for us. This guy's kind of work, working his way over, so we just need to outpace him for this. So as soon as this boat lands, we're gonna land with a ton of troops and really take advantage of this, seeing what we can do. Need this boat to get here a little bit faster, get another attack in just to make sure he cannot keep us, keep, kick us off. Let's keep grabbing the land and keep going. We just need to get around the horn here, preventing this uh, player from the south getting up any higher. So we do manage to knock him off. Now I am actually going to start whittling him down. I don't want him on my island. I will truce with you as we slowly start taking this guy off. I'm just going to fight him all the way. You know what? Uh, whoever wants that, you get it. I just want to fight him down to get this continent. And then we can kind of re reassess where the needs are. But I didn't want him to have a ton of troops right now. And so we'll just continuously knock down this. And this player 742 did boat into me. That is very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and knock that out of the way and continue going. And he did full send, so that's good news for us. And we can finish up this attack, grab this island. I'm not going to be too concerned with this guy as he's going to have to boat into me. And we'll save that for another day. If we can take this North America, we're going to be sitting really good. So let's go ahead and start that process now. Who's this win? Oh, that's still this guy. Okay. No problems. Don't care. He full sends. That's huge for us. That is basically the win as we take all of North America and South America. And there we go. Ooh, that's huge for us. Let's take the rest of this. That makes us almost unstoppable. So now we just need to be a little bit cautious about picking our targets and then we have the win. So let's grab the rest of these little islands here. We still do have a truce with this guy, so I don't need to engage him right away. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's going to be a problematic. Let's go ahead and boat over here. See if we can fight this guy. No, we're going to push through Madrid. We're going to push through Madrid and then we're going to get into stoism and then take him out. Oh, don't cut me off, buddy. I need to get over here. Okay, let's boat into India and we'll boat south. And these two boats combined in combination with the boat going to India. Where is the boat going to India? Did I send it? There it is. Okay, well, it's coming. And now we have a boat here, and we're just going to go ahead and start the attacks on this guy. If we can whittle him down soon enough, he's our biggest enemy, and we just need to knock him down. And if we can do that, we're going to win the game. But it's at such a close race right now between me and this guy that if this Russian player in the, in the middle starts to betray me, I'm in a lot of trouble. So we definitely need to keep whittling him down. We do get our boat over there as well into India. Now we're at the point where if you add up their pixel count, they're still they're weaker than me. So this means that the game is in hand and it will just take some yeah, calculated attacks to win it, if you will. So we'll just continue taking down. Oh, he does full send. He full sends the Russian player out of frustration. Brother, I've been there when this is like, we need to work together, take down this guy. And the other guy's like, I'm good though. That sucks, but we'll just go ahead and take him out and then grab the rest of his land and see what kind of islands we need for the victory. He does go ahead and leave and we'll grab this and this and grab these islands along the way. We're going to go ahead and peace out. No need to attack our Russian player. I don't know who you are, but you can have the truce. Oh, Senator Armstrong. That's funny. Okay, well, we'll split. How about we split it? Will that be fair? Let's just go ahead and split it. There you go. But GG's to all involved and on to the next one. All right, next map up is going to be a little bit of team action in the Black Arena. Looking for a little team action win. I say teams, although there are only 12 players in here. So the likelihood that we have anybody on our team is pretty slim. So we'll try and get up here. Actually, let's go right. Oh, there's Magenta Bro. Magenta Bro. <laughs> I was scared. I saw somebody pop in. I didn't see it was my own teammate. Well, good news. We're going to survive. Magenta Bros never die. Here we go. This is our time to shine. Ha! Ah, you see what I did there? Fun jokes. Anyways, uh, focusing on the uh, the map, let's take a look. We don't really have any close neighbors. Where is our closest neighbor? There are two uh, white players over here. 
and then i don't see anybody really to the south of us so we have a lot of expanding to go did our buddy move i think he left okay well then never mind we don't have any friends uh we didn't need them anyways there is a red player to right here whatever that is north south 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 west i was a boy scout <laughs> i just have i just don't i have i struggle under the mental pressure to name it out on the go but we'll be fine okay so we need to get through we need to push around our bots over here that's i feel like going to be the key to our victory so let's keep trying to get around this stupid purple bot ah okay he's not a magenta bro he's a magenta hater let's get down here although i feel like that's a fool's errand pushing down that way because there's a bunch of magenta bots that we i don't know if we're gonna be able to get around let's see if we can try though otherwise we'll just be expanding we do need to get some land pretty fast because some other guys are gonna be growing faster as well i feel like in these scenarios it is best to be patient and then go pretty ham so we'll see what we can do there let's go ahead and get oh that's a bot i did not want to attack fortunately he attacked somebody else there is this player down here who has about double our numbers so we need to be very cautious of him as we do our attacks let's go ahead and decrease our attacks just because i'm scared of him i'll be honest i'll be honest with you let's go here and uh i've loved there we go that's a great opportunity so this guy's got double our troops he's doing a great job so uh we'll be very cautious of him because i feel like he's going to destroy us let's see if we can get a little truce with him as we uh, desperately need it and get rid of these two bots that are kind of in our way and then we do have the crown so maybe we just build up for a hot second as we get attacked by a white bot and another white bot let's go ahead and close the barrier close the the ranks a little bit and uh get rid of these now we do need to clear out some bots who are just going to be attacking us so let's go ahead and get that done this is a great one to get and we do have the crown back but as you can see very less troops than this guy he did a great job of growing wow i'm gonna have to copy his strategy um let's see we don't have a teammate this guy has a lot of room to grow so i think we'll just take out this bot right here and he's going to continue to grow we do have the crown and we do have more troops than him so we did a good job good job us he takes the crown away from us and i think he's going to have the crown so we'll definitely take this truce with the white player see if we can truce with this player down here to take out the red player and see what we can do we'll just constantly build up troops from here and we will come back when we have a little bit of action okay we're in a great spot now let's give a big attack into chad grab a lot of his land really quickly i feel like this is a great opportunity for us we saved up all of our troops as these two were fighting and now we get a ton of land and we do have more troops let's go ahead and try and truce with this guy see if he's interested in being our friend as he's trying to get let us take the crown away from him interesting strategy didn't quite work out for him and now we do have more troops so we just need to be on the same team as cyber so hopefully he'll accept our truce uh just gonna kind of wait this one out a little bit oh he left no go 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 send a lot of troops send all of the troops okay we do have the crown we just need to hold it for like a couple seconds a couple cycles oh ho, ho. we stole that game holy cow that was incredible great job on our end to be striking at the perfect moments and now we can just slowly chip away at this guy as we will continue to get more and more troops he does realize it the game is over and he leaves so ggs to all involved but boys if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching if you're new around here subscribe for more i'm putting up videos every day but boys I'll see you in the next one.